Hi everyone, this is Amber with the Chakra Deva at thechakradeva.com, energy healer and crystal therapist. So I want to share with you today a tarot card layout to resolve karmic issues and patterns and see what is going on in your relationships. And I can't, um, I don't know if you guys can see my card layout down here, um, but I'm going to post a photo on my blog so that you can see how this works as well. But for now, I'm going to go over the cards and what it means. So there's two packs that I'm using. This is uh, the Past Life Pack by Doreen Virtue. And I'm also using my favorite tarot cards that I've had since I was 15. And um, I can't read it backwards. So it says Morgan Greer Tarot, okay? So this was my first deck when I was 14 years old walking into my first metaphysical shop to do uh, readings, to learn readings anyway. So there's going to be, you're going to pick over three cards, okay, from the past life deck. And you're going to put them in a row. See, one, two, three. This card in the middle represents a karmic relationship. What, what's the ties between them? The cards over here are the female cards, and this is the male cards because I'm working with the marriage. Okay, so the card in the middle represents what they have in common. And this is at a period when they were both in the Native American time period, okay? A previous life in the time period of a Native American. So that card's in the middle. Now the cards on one side is gonna represent one, one person and the cards on the other side represent another person. Make sure you know this ahead of time of who is who, all right? So I'm gonna go with the cards on the right and that's gonna be the husband. And the husband's card says a karmic relationship which is why we're doing this, but I think that this is just apparent that this is definitely a karmic relationship that needs to be healed, that needs to be addressed, okay? They've been together before. And then the card on the left is the female, and the female says communal living, and that means, you know, they didn't have bank accounts back then. They didn't have, um, you know, you couldn't just put your money in something and use a, a credit card. We did services and received products. We did services and that's just how the system went, right? If you wanted a loaf of bread and I had soup, we would trade or we would share together and have a nice lunch. <laughs> that would be me. So this is saying that, you know, there was communal living, which would make sense, especially during this time period. Okay. So we went back to that time period. And then on the side of these cards, you're going to pick out two cards. One again to represent one to represent the male's energy and one represent the female energy, okay? So what did you ask what was learned in this relationship? What was the point of this relationship? Um, and for this, there is the Ace of Rods. So the Ace of Rods meant that, and this is for the male, right? We're using the male. The Ace of Rods meant that he brought potential. He brought new ideas. He brought um, creativity. Like he had it going on. So if there is, um, you know, someone who st stood out from the crowd, someone who had great ideas and pursued them, okay, he was somebody to look up to. He was someone who um, didn't didn't go with the crowd. Kind of stood out and had a lot of potential and just kept moving forward. So the female loved this, okay? This is what he presented to the table in this lifetime and that's what she was drawn to. Now, for the male, he was drawn to her. Sorry, I got my cards all confused. Uh, temperance, okay? So temperance, you can see that she has one foot in and one foot out, and that could be a male, but we're doing female energy. So one foot in and one foot out. That means that there's a balance. There's a balance between the physical world and the spiritual world. And the cups up here, the water doesn't flow down. It actually flows up. So she, her her point, the whole entire, um, you know, there's always a reason for a relationship, for the growth, right? She went from a, she changed, right? Her vibration changed from a lower energy to a higher energy. There was a shift. There was a raise in consciousness. And that's what she brought to the table for him in this, in this relationship. Then you're going to pick out three cards above. So whoa, three cards above, three tarot cards. And this represents the relationship now as it is. Okay, the relationship now. And as you can see, 
this is um, the Wheel of Fortune, and they're, here's their marriage, and they're not looking at each other, okay? They're still holding hands, right? They're still holding on, but they're, they're in different directions in their life, okay? One's looking one way, the other one's looking the other way. And the wheel suggests that it's a continuous cycle, right? There's a lot of ups, there's a lot of downs, but they keep hanging on. Even though they're in two different worlds, two different directions at this period, they keep hanging on, okay? The page of rods, okay? This person, this represents a person who has a spiritual idea, who is very creative, who has a new project going on, who um, can turn that rod into something beautiful and magnificent. And when I saw this card, I thought of like beads and crystals going around this rod and really, you know, decorating it out. So this is a person who is very creative, has new projects on the horizon. Whereas this person, uh, this is the Eight of Pentacles. Pentacles is Earth, and it's also the physical world. He is working so hard on a project, okay? He is consumed. He obviously isolates himself um, in, in doing this project, and he wants to see it finished. It's not finished yet. He's still working on these last two, right? He's still pursuing what he needs to do, um, but he's very into his work, doesn't really see the outside of things, is just concentrating on what's going on now with this project. So here's two different people. One is looking for new beginnings, and this one is consumed by the current work that they are doing because they're not looking at each other. They have two different directions, okay? So that's the top three cards. The top three cards suggest um, where the relationship is currently. Now, the bottom ones, I was reading this for the female. I was reading this for a wife. And the bottom three are her turnaround and how it can be presented. Now, know that tarot is just, um, you can change it. Like if you make 10 critical changes tomorrow and you don't like the outcome, you can change it, okay? You have free will, there's nothing written in stone. It's just suggesting that the way that things are going, this is how it's unfolding. So if you didn't like the outcome, okay, and you, you want a different outcome, you can definitely do that. You can do that. So the first card is the Nine of Pentacles. And as you can see, she is fully confident in herself. And I think it goes with this card, right? This person had a new idea. It's a spiritual idea. This person, she is decked down in purple. It's very intuitive color. She's very spiritual. She's confident within herself. There's all of these uh, grapes, and grapes is the fruit of abundance, okay? So whatever project this person's working on, it's going to be a huge success, okay? Um, She's very on point. She's very confident within herself. She likes to look at herself. She's getting all dressed up. She feels good about who she is. Second one is the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups, you can see that there's three women. Okay, this suggests that um, there's going to be like women, um, I'm going to say bondmanship, like you know, your, your social network is going to be filled with women, okay? That's going to be your mentors. That's going to be who you turn to. It might even be the your project, who, who you're going to um, work with is a bunch of females, okay? So this is celebration. They're all celebrating. And as you can see, there's tons of fruit. There's the grapes again. So there's fruit of abundance over here too. They are celebrating with her. They are lifting her up. They are proud of her. Um, they all work together. They are a team. It's unity. It's uh, friendships going on here. Okay, it's celebration. And the third one is the star. So the star, as you can see, one foot in, one foot out. Where have we seen her before, right? In her previous life. There was one foot in, one foot out. So she's actually carrying on what she left off with. Here, she went to a higher vibration. Her consciousness opened up a little bit more of awareness. Here, it's happening again. I love this card because of the seven. The seven represent all of the chakras. So this person may be working and opening up her chakras. This person is working on transformation, okay? You can see there's hot and there's cold water. They're working on balance. They're working on spirituality. They're, um, they're in a period of transformation, and I think that that is absolutely beautiful. So as in a karmic relationship, 
the bottom three are how to solve the karma, how to balance out the karma. So maybe in a previous life, she didn't give a voice to herself. Maybe in a previous life, she just let him take care of her because he had all of this potential within him. And she didn't realize how much potential she had within herself. She didn't realize that she could step out within herself and make a difference and make changes. Okay, so that's the bottom three cards coming into yourself, okay? Balancing out whatever karma was in that previous lifetime. And what I like to suggest with um, at the end of the cards is what crystals to work with, right? So crystals always help in situations and with cards. And for this person, I would suggest angel light because communicating with the angels, um, she since she's working on her spirituality in all of these cards, um, it's a great way to connect in with the divine, connect in with the angels. Um, amethyst for transformation. I would highly suggest her just hold it, keep it with her, put it in her pocket to transform. Okay, it's great for a transformation stone. And also um, carnelian. So carnelian is great for creativity. She obviously has a project that is trying to bloom in a previous lifetime that she saw potential for. And now in this lifetime, she's going to kick butt, man. She is going to take this project up and away. And carnelian is great for um, creativity, but it's also, if you can find it in the heart shape, the heart shapes is your um, heart chakra. It symbolizes self-love. It can symbolize love all over. So I highly suggest this person to work with um, a heart-shaped carnelian. So that is the spread of how to um, look at past lives and how to resolve the karma, how to see different different things within the relationship that, um, you know, sometimes we get stuck in our relationships. And when you're looking at it from a different perspective, from a higher perspective, you can gain some light, you know, like in a previous lifetime, they just kept going in circles over and over and over. And in this lifetime, they're going in circles over and over and over. And maybe they need to go different directions. And if they do choose to go different directions, you know, this is the possible outcome below it, but you have to make that step. Okay. You have to make that step to balance out this karmic relationship. So that is my spread and how I read tarot cards for that. If you like my video, please subscribe, and I am ever so grateful. Thank you.